So about an hour ago, ECPE updated their classic faction server. Now there are a few changes that they added, but the main one is the new leveling system. When I type slash level, rather than you having to like get money to level up, there's an entire like new section. You have three different skills and then your total skill at the very top, which is your player skill. Over time, you can level these up and as you level them up, you'll get a lot of really cool rewards. And well, with these rewards, you're allowed to like sell more items or you get like higher skills. For mining, the more you mine, the higher chance you have of finding relics. So the server's a lot more play to win. The more you play, the higher chance you have at finding relics. The same thing goes for the combat skill and the hunter skills. The higher up combat level you have unlocks a whole bunch of really cool rewards. I'll show them on screen right now. Lastly, you have your player level, and this one's all around, so I'll show the rewards on screen, but it's pretty self-explanatory. You get access to a lot of, like, the essential things. Like, literally, you cannot go warp boss. Like, you have to be level 10 to do that. Also, I got a blacksmith's anvil from one of these things, so I don't, I don't know even what this is. I'm assuming I give it to this guy. Yep, blacksmith's anvil... We got 25 mob coins, okay. Anyway, so I'm gonna be doing some mining because I wanna level up my mining skill so that I can create the faction again. Because for those of you not aware, everything reset. There's literally no factions left. Everyone lost everything except their E-chests. I don't know why, I think they might have forgot to reset that. The server's resetting a lot though. It's just how it has to be with the new update though. But yeah, I kept everything that was in my E-chest. I should have kept like a whole bunch of like heads that sold for money. That would have been the best thing ever. Sadly though, we lost all the STR we were gaining. We were at like 80,000 or something. It's fine though, I've just gotta do a lot of mining. Although wait, I kept my homes. Hold up. If I go to the base, do we still have stuff in here? We kept everything in our base. Now, if you're wondering how you're supposed to level up these skills, I'll go through all of them, but we're gonna start off with mining. Now, for every block you break, you get one singular XP. Now, for every ore you break, you get five XP. So with this new update, it is worth it to mine the ores, even if you didn't previously. And then if you find a relic, it's worth 25 XP. And lastly, if you find a treasure chest, that's worth a thousand. And that's what we found. So that's how we have all the XP for our level. Also, the level that you see in chat is your player level. So keep that in mind. Wait, oh, uh, this kid just, he just mined right into our base. He's killing me. No, you're kidding. You're actually kidding. Some guy, you can just mine into our base. That's the dumbest thing ever. This is so dumb. You can literally mine into pe- Oh, this is, what is this? This update sucks. I, why did they do this? What is happening? Rip all of our good items. Yep, that's what happens when you try to go to our base. Okay, so if I mine these ores, it's actually worth it because I'm getting much more XP rather than just mining like the normal like blocks. But I just gotta start saving up for this. Uh, I just gotta try to get level five so I can make a faction. That's like all I wanna do in this video. I wanna get leveled up enough to the point where I can make revival again. Except I think we're gonna go under a different username this time. Oh wait, I found a relic. Oh, what is this? Okay, this is new. Relic, I have to decrypt this at spawn. Okay, so if I go if I go slash spawn, what does this even do? Like I'm I'm learning with you guys. Keep that in mind. I, I saw like a little like patch notes thing beforehand, but that's legit all I saw. Like I still don't know exactly how everything works. But that is how I know like all like the numbers and like what the rewards give you. But yeah, if I if I do this, um add new decryption. It's gonna like, oh it only takes 15 seconds. Okay, that's not bad. Standard advanced hyper. I have to do standard, don't I? Yeah. So then how, how do I see this? View. You have no decrypted relics. My decrypted relics. Oh, it's okay. It's going right now. It's got only 15 seconds. Not that bad. Okay. We got, we got mo five, five mob coins. Okay. The rewards have been sent to my mailbox. So if I go over here, I think we get stuff in the mail. Relic decryption rewards. Okay. I'm just gonna go mining though. I want to check up on my level one more time You know before we go mining some more I should probably talk about how you gain XP for combat and hunter So for combat for every one heart you deal you get an XP and for every kill you get it's 50 And then also for if you use a bow it's 2 XP per heart and then for hunter It's 1 XP for a chicken 2 XP for a cow 3 XP for a slime 4 for a zombie 5 for a skeleton 7 for a blaze 10 for an IG and 1,000 for top three damage in a boss. Yeah, I think this is where Squish is at. If I kill these zombies, I think that might be like easy XP. So because it's only four XP for a zombie, I don't think I'm gonna be farming zombies right now. I think I'll upgrade my hunter level one time and then we're gonna call it good for that. They added TNT cannons. I wanna know how they work. 
I just want to get this content. You know what I'm saying? He'll put it. Oh, okay. He's putting a video in like the um, media. So let's let's see how this is supposed to work. I'm I'm showing you guys everything. In the meantime, I will go do some mining because I wanna I wanna practice to get my levels up some more. And whoa, this is cool. What is this? I'll show the video on screen right now. Whoa, you, it's like an actual cannon. You add, that's sick. It's an auto firing cannon. That's actually so sick. I don't even know how are you supposed to get these things. Mob coin shop for fifteen hundred. Oh, okay. So we're we're gonna have to save up our mob coins then. I know we leveled up. Player level three. Let's go. Now I need level five, I believe, to make a faction. So I've gotta do some grinding here. Let me just make sure it is level five for the player. Yep, it's F created for level five. So I'm gonna start working on making a new faction. Oh, and oh, this is cool. So if you're a faction owner now, you have complete control over like what perms each rank has. So like if you wanna give everyone access to like F home but not able to build or something, you can do that. That's actually so cool. I thankfully, I think I have like a head start on everyone when it comes to mining. And oh, I've got so many relics. I've, I should go decrypt these right now. I'm, I'm honestly gonna. I've got like get these things going. They're probably gonna take a little bit. This is honestly one of the best updates ECPE has like literally ever added. Let's add. I've, we're just gonna add everything in. I think they don't really take that long. It's like only like 30 seconds though. It's nothing too bad. I was thinking it would take like an hour or something, but thankfully it's like pretty much nothing. We'll go back and check on those. I want to do a little bit more mining in the meantime. Now once again, make sure you're mining the ores because they give you so much XP. And now begins the long grind of mining. This is still the testing period. Season 1 has not come yet, but they're getting really close to Season 1 beginning. And when that happens, we're gonna hit this server hard. Wait, is someone here mining with me? Wait a minute. Uh... This, this, uh, um... There's, there's, there's an admin. He's, he was mining next to me for two minutes. It took me that long to realize. <laughs> he gave me strength. Okay, you know what? You have your fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep mining. Oh, wow, I just realized you cannot unlock the PvP HUD until you're player level 20. Oh, PvP is gonna be interesting until then. Okay. Wait, I just realized there might be a way better way to level up. I've been doing this the whole time. What if I just go mine dirt? I mean, it, it gives uh, XP regardless. So I could just get a shovel and like insta hit the dirt with efficiency five. Also, I gotta, I gotta do like these decryptions. I gotta do a couple more of them. We got some mythics. Uh, we got two legendaries. I'll take 50 seconds. Jeez. And then we, we did open up the previous ones. So we got... A legendary key, an elite key, a mortal kit, and a god eater kit. Okay. Like, that's honestly not even that bad. I get a chicken spawner and 20k. I'll, I'll, I'll literally, I'll take that. Now, this is a race, though. I want to get my ED pickaxe. I'm going to go slash wild, and I'm just going to start mining dirt. I want to make sure this gives levels, though. Two, three, eight, zero. Okay, this is the play. This is 100% the play. You insta hit dirt. This is how you get levels. This is the fastest way to gain levels on this server. Well, let's see if anyone's made a faction yet. Nope, no one has. It's, it's still a race against the time. Who can get the first faction on the server? I'm, a, I'm just about to hit level four, and then I just need one more level after that. All right, we're level four. I just gotta go. Let's see how much XP I need. I need 5,000. I need to mine 5,000 pieces of dirt. Oh, no. I'm just about able to level up. I'm actually so close. I need, like, 100 more blocks, and I can level up, and I can make the faction. This is... Yep, there we go. I can, I can F create now. F create, cyberspace 120. I need 175k. What's my balance right now? Oh, main burst just gave me... Okay, okay, okay. There we go. We made we made the Cyberspace 120 faction. Okay, server reset. We're gonna go outpost. All right, please. Stay off my outpost. Oh, that's... Oh, wait. That's so cool. It shows where you are on F top. Okay, wait. So I can, like, give permissions to officer. So they can... They can kick people. Check stats and members. Go to faction warps. Wait, you can have faction warps? This is actually so cool. Hey, we got that F top one right there, but there, there's like some sort of glitch with like the F top thing. I have no idea what it is though. This is quite nice being the leader of a faction for once. I, I, I kind of like this to be honest. All right, let's see what these uh, relics that we decrypted get us. So if I hit view, I got an MD kit. 11k, 6 mob coins, and a legendary key. Now, when I go to level, I'm almost about to level up my mining. So let's just, uh, let's quick break a little bit of dirt, and let's see what reward this gives us. And oh, 
Okay, we got double we got two percent double drops I mean, I don't know if that's actually good or anything but like two percent double drops I mean, you know, why not now? I do want to like upgrade my combat level a little bit But honestly, I think mining has got to be the fastest way to do it just mining dirt just endlessly just you just keep doing it I'm gonna be honest. It's probably like the most painful one to do, but it's so worth it Well, that's about gonna wrap things up I went PvP for around an hour to an hour and a half with Z and a couple of other people in our faction And well, here's a quick update on F top currently We are just shy of a thousand STR whereas United Airlines is now upwards of 4,000 But you know not to fear or anything we got them as an ally and for those of you wondering yes That's the new carbon anyways. It's pretty late So I'm not gonna be going PvP or anything else. I do have some more clips for another class factions video which will probably be released within the next week or so but well with that said i hope you all did enjoy this video and i'll see you in my next one